Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if you can hear noise, Coco is in the background just doing her own thing. So that's that's the background noise. Um, but today I'm going to be doing my top five mascaras. And um, mascaras is quite a tricky thing because there's so many out there on the market. I have quite short, sparse and straight lashes. Actually, they're not even straight, they're just point straight downwards, which is so annoying because um, getting them to curl is like mission impossible. So these mascaras are kind of like four shorter lashes. So obviously if you had long eyelashes, you wouldn't really need a mascara to make your eyelashes appear longer. You probably want more volume and more curl, whereas for my, because eyelashes, because they're so short and straight, I need volume, I need length and I need curl. So these mascaras can do it all um, depending how you apply them. So let's get into my top five mascaras. So number one, this is no surprise because this is my holy grail mascara and it's the Majolica Majorca Lash Expander Edge Meister yeah. and it's basically um, a fibre mascara. It's built up of lots and lots of fibres which really helps lengthen shorter lashes. Mm -hmm. It's in a plastic applicator which I know that for some people might not be very used to it because a lot of mascaras these days have brushes um, but this comb is really good at separating the lashes and this mascara, my god let me tell you if you have trouble curling your lashes and keeping them curled all day long, then this mascara is for you. Um, I haven't ever tried any other mascara that works as well as this at keeping lashes curled. My god, even by the end of the day your lashes will be standing up just how you curl them. And it is quite tricky to get a hold of because obviously it's an Asian mascara so you need to kind of get it online or you need to get someone to buy you it but um, it's completely worth it. I've been using this for, I'd say about five or six years. And I like to always use this as a base coat for any other mascara that I'm gonna put on top because I know that this is gonna help keep my lashes staying curled and not like floppy throughout the day. So yeah, Majolica Majolica Mascara. My number one. Number two is the L'Oreal Telescopic False Lash Mascara in black. By the way, all of my mascaras are in black because I just like black mascara. But um, yeah, um, L'Oreal Telescopic False Lash. And again, this one has fibres in it. I am a big fan of mascaras with fibres because when you have short eyelashes, those fibres are going to be what makes your eyelashes longer because um, it builds and builds and builds and it slowly gets longer and longer. Um, but the reason I like this is it's really easy to apply and I actually really like the brush. It does an awesome job at separating the lashes and getting each and every one um, coated with mascara and really nice and kind of like flared out. And the brush isn't too big because some mascaras are ridiculous and have like humongous brush brushes which are generally quite hard to deal with but this one is really good to deal with and again this is a plastic um, applicator but it is in like a brush format so it just feels like a brush and yeah so L'Oreal Ball Slash Telescopic Mascara is my number one drugstore mascara I always always pick this up when I run out and yeah I know that a lot of people like this as well so it's not really a surprise to be honest because it's an awesome mascara so my third mascara is another fibre mascara. I just can't get enough of fibres. When you have short lashes like me, fibres is what you need. And this is the Deja Vu Lash Knockout. And Deja Vu actually created the original fibre mascara. That was one of the first fibre mascaras on the market ever. And um, it was a sellout in Japan and then it kind of like branched out to more of the Asia shores and then it just became more and more popular but this is another um, kind of line or it's a line well it's by Deja Vu but it's a different mascara but it kind of more or less has the same concepts in that like it's um, quite fibery but not not as much not as densely packed and this is more like in a way like a normal mascara with a little bit of fibers in 
and this lash knockout is really good because it um, adds volume, a lot of volume. If you're not careful, then it can get a little bit clumpy. So I would make sure that after each coat, you comb through your lashes to get rid of excess mascara and absolutely wait until the first coat is dry before you put on your second coat or else you, you might just get some clumpy spider lashes. But um, yeah, again, another Asian mascara, so it's kind of hard to get hold of. You can't just pop to Boots or pop to CVS or wherever to get it. I actually think that this was in Sephora. I'm not sure why I'm thinking that. Maybe I'm just wrong. But I'm pretty sure that Deja Vu mascaras were sold in Sephora. So if you have a Sephora near you and you've seen this before, then let me know. Because obviously we are... We? I am in the UK and it sucks because we do not have Sephora. I'm not sure why. But anyways, um, Deja Vu Lash Knockout. Yeah, really good mascara. Again, like I said, volume, length. Um, when it comes to holding the curl, it doesn't hold it as well as the Majolica Majolica. But it does do a pretty good job. And yeah, I love it. So number four. Four. <laughs> number four is um, Benefits Diarial Mascara. And I know there's a lot of um, debate over this mascara. Some people love it, some people hate it. And I think that it just depends on how you apply it and what kind of lashes you have. I have short eyelashes so I like this because it lengthens my eyelashes and it adds volume and it does an okay job at holding the curl. It's not the most amazing curl but it does still stay up. But what I like most about this is the brush because it has like a more rounded head so you can really get into all the corners all your bottom lashes and you can get them coated really well and obviously if you have like long eyelashes then this might not be for you because you, you might end up with like spidery looking eyelashes because it does add a lot of volume and a lot of length it's probably the most expensive mascara that I'm talking about um, in my top 5 but I still think that it's worth it and that if you haven't given it a shot then give it a shot obviously you might like it, you might not like it but I personally like it I actually use this um, on top of my L'Oreal Telescopic um, I layer the mascaras so that it gives a really nice full kind of like eyelash effect especially if I'm not wearing false eyelashes so last but not least this is the Dolly Wink Long Mascara and I believe it's in black because it looks black um, and it looks like this, it has gorgeous pink girly packaging and the thing about Japanese products is the packaging is friggin so cute why are we like, why do our kind of like UK drugstore or UK makeup packaging why can't it look like this because when the packaging is cuter it makes you want to use it even more but basically again this mascara is made up of fibres um, hence it, it really helping at giving me longer eyelashes um, volume, it doesn't give much volume but it does help really separate and lengthen the eyelashes so when I want to go for a more natural everyday look I use this mascara because it's really good at doing that again it's an Asian product so it might be quite tricky to find but I'm pretty sure a lot of online shops sell this now so I just want to mention that all of these mascaras are really good at being smudge proof I personally have no problems with wearing these all day long in hot weathers and um, yeah, I really like these. Okay, one, two, three, for fuck's sake. Yeah, you know, I was actually going to say that but I thought this is a bit inappropriate for the video. <laughs> he always says that when he's angry. 